Hey, welcome back to this mini lecture. My name is Dino. It's on time management for learning. Hopefully I can manage my time while doing this, this video. Uh, the focus of it, uh, as you can probably get from the title, is time management strategies to help promote learning. Uh, what is the definition of time management? It's a process of organizing and planning how to divide your time between different activities, which is really important these days because we have so many things that we are engaged in. Similarly, is managing time effectively so that the right time is allocated to the right activity. Because sometimes it's you have an activity that you need to do, but it, it just does not match the time that you have allotted for it. Here are a, a series of time management tips to consider for your educational priorities. Um, just say no. You want to decide your most important activities, and from that, say no to the ones that are less important. Prioritize your goals. You want to create goals. You want to rank the priorities. Put the, the more important ones on top, less ones towards the bottom. Uh, you want to list activities for meeting your goals and priorities because the goals and priorities might be very big and you might need smaller activities to reach them. Estimate the amount of time it will take for you to reach those uh, goals and priorities. Schedule your time and then be flexible because sometimes we have things that get in our way. Uh, schedule time. Use monthly, weekly, daily calendars with a to-do list to help you get through your days and make those days add up to weeks and months of productivity and learning. Uh, avoid overscheduling. Um, you might you want to make an accurate assessment of what you're doing so that something that you think is going to take half an hour, if you really think it takes an hour, give it an hour. Don't give like don't give yourself uh, um, sixteen half-hour activities when you really can only do eight one-hour activities. Uh, avoid pro procrastination, get started. See, I started this video, look, look at, I'm finishing it. Uh, <laughs> uh, time limits, uh, remember that there are only 24 hours a day, like, like as much as we want to manage our time, there is a fixed amount per day and you know, you don't want to cut it back on your sleep, your exercise, your, your you know, eating right, et cetera, et cetera. Spending time with loved ones, doing things you enjoy besides being quote unquote productive. Um, here are some scheduling principles for yourself to promote your own learning. Prepare for classes. What do you need to do to prep? What things can you do to make that class more uh, useful for you? Study immediately after class as it helps to reinforce learning. But possibly go over your notes that you have, possibly re-look re re at your readings. That might be a bit more ambitious. Study at the same time. Aspire to consistency to make study habitual. I find for myself, I, I, I swim in the mornings. I try to swim every morning because if I don't, I won't. And because I do it at the same time, I just kind of do it without even really thinking about it. Plan enough time to study. Estimate the adequate time. Like I said, you know, don't give yourself 16 half hour things. Give yourself eight one hour things to do if that's your, your jam. So just give yourself enough time to, depending on what you need to do. Try to study in short increments of time and focus your study. Sometimes we can just sit, and because we're sitting for such a long time, that time is less useful. Prioritize your activities. You want to rank the importance of study alternatives. When you have to do 10 things for a class, you want to make sure that you're doing what's most important first and least important last. So if you don't get to the last things, you're still fine. Study during your prime times. Discover your best study time and energy. For example, I like to really work in the morning. I'm recording this video in the morning, so it makes sense for me to do that kind of uh, important work for me at my best times. Hopefully you do the same. Uh, afterwards, analyze your time use. When and how did you waste time? We always we all waste time. And obviously we need some fallow time to sort of give ourselves a breather, but there are things that you do that might be uh, uh, not a great use, waste of your time. For example, if you're learning this video about, if you're watching this video to learn about learning and time management, uh, if you if you watch an hour long video on some uh, some something that's really not use, worth your time, that might not be the best use of your time. You want to waste time. You want to build. A, sorry, in contrast to what I just said, you do want to build some extra time into your schedule so that you can you know have a have a good time, and that you're not just working constantly, not enjoying your life. And finally, there's only 24 hours a day. Again, there's only so much you can do. Give yourself a break, friend. That was Time Management for Learning. My name is Dino. Please feel free to like this video if you like it. Please feel free to comment on it. 
Um, do you have any particularly useful time management techniques that you'd uh, suggest to others? Were there ones on this list that you think might be useful to you? Uh, are there any uh, time management tips on this list that you might not use or ones that you might want to improve? Uh, finally, if you like this type of content, please feel free to subscribe to this channel to see similar types of videos. Take care.